Hey, YouTube Nightcrawler here. Let me get you set up here. Sorry about this. I always have to dick around with it. All right. And I'm sure I have the red eyes as usual because of the light on the, the video. Um, it's Tuesday morning about 1.04. And um, I wanted to do another update on the, the not smoking. I haven't had a cigarette. I had an urge for a cigarette maybe an hour ago, and uh, I just took a hit off this and I was fine. But uh, what I really wanted to talk about today was um, uh, how to adjust with the Proveri, how to adjust the, uh, the draw. And uh, I didn't do any video, I haven't done any research or anything, I'm just going off of personal experience and what I'm finding out. Um, I guess this is what you would call uh, a flush mounted uh, uh, 510 connector. So the way this basically works is, you know, you got your tank, you got your cartomizer, and you have these little, and you're not going to be able to see them on video, so you're going to have to take my word for it, but you got little tiny, tiny holes on this side, and you have a little tiny hole on this side. So. What I'm finding out, because I've been screwing with it for a couple days now, trying to find out where I want to be as far as my draw, because I've noticed that the first few days, first, I don't know, like four days, I, I was sitting there going, you know, I'm really getting a great flavor, and I was like, oh, this is great, you know. And then I, I dicked with it, I switched tanks, I did something, and I was like, oh, I'm not really getting the flavor I want, you know, and that might change every time you adjust your... Uh, your cartomizer in your tank to refill it or something. So I started messing around with it and I'm like, okay, well, what's going on here? Why, why is this happening? So what I found out was when you put this on here and you, you see how there's a gap right there? Now, obviously that gap will go away once you, once you, uh, the hell did I scratch my tank again? I got some dog hair in there? I don't know. Um, you know, you got a little tiny gap, and you're probably not going to be able to see it, but there's a little, little, little tiny gap in between there. Now, the reason that is, is because, you know, you got those little tiny holes on the side. So you take a vape and... Let me put the window up. All right. Now, I want you to hear this so you can hear the, the sound of the, the air coming through. Okay. So. <clears throat> so, I'm getting lots of vapor. That it, it seems fine, but I'm getting a little bit, I'm not getting as much of the, the throat hit or the, the overwhelming uh, flavor that I wanted. And remember, I'm using the, what am I using here? Yeah, here it is. The Glacier, uh, Glacier Menthol 6040 blend, um, 18 milligrams. That's what I got in this tank. Um, so I'm like, well... What the heck? You know, I'm getting a wide open, you know, it sounds like I'm, I'm hitting it, but I'm not really getting the draw. I'm, get, you know, I'm, I'm getting wide open. I guess they call it a wide open uh, draw. You know, so I thought, well, what if I just adjust this all the way down to be flush mounted? You know, obviously, and then that leaves a little gap right there in your tip. And I went, okay, you adjust that all the way down. And I already knew this before I did it, but I, I figured, oh, okay, well, I'll screw it then and see what happens. Now watch. Now, you're not going to hear, let me push that down a little more, tighten it up. That's it. Now, I'm not getting, now, I'm, bare, I'm not getting the airflow I was getting before, but now, um, just that little bit of vapor I got, I got a good throat hit and an overwhelming flavor. So... I found out what basically you do is you just kind of move the tank up and down until you get the airflow that you want. And it's hard to hard to do here. 
but you know if you go up you get more airflow if you go down you're cutting off the airflow because of the flush mounting you know the tank flush mounts on there you're getting no airflow you're getting you know if you get anything you're getting, and you might flood your cardo by doing that so let's try it now i have it adjusted just a barely i can kind of see some light through there so i'm probably going to get you know not as a wide open draw but not as a restrictive draw as you just saw so Okay, that was pretty good. It was, a little more wide, it was a little wider than I want it, so I'm just gonna push that down just a hair. Okay. Nope. A little bit more. There it is. That's what it is. That's where I like it, right about there where I'm getting not a wide open draw um i'm getting but i'm getting more flavor and that's what i want i want the throat hit and i want the flavor so this is what i've noticed on this now once you have that on there the way you want it it's fine you can go ahead and remove it switch tanks and it'll stay that way the only time that's going to change is when is when you go to refill it you know you're gonna have to initially dick with it to get it back because you've obviously you've popped your tank up a little to refill the juice inside um, but you, you know it just takes a few seconds to get it where you want it so that's what I found out and like I said I switch out tanks put some cinnamon uh some cinnamon chill in here and same same tank design same cardo everything's the same um only difference is this juice is a uh eight is a 12 and i'm, I'm coming to realize that the 12 isn't really giving me the throat hit and the, the amount of uh, it's not satisfying my urge as much as i like so you know and we'll do the same thing with this we'll have it we'll give it a wide open draw so i have it pushed up all the way that's not wide open there we go that's wide open that's that's crazy that's pretty good now I'm gonna adjust this down a little because I want the more of the cinnamon flavor. I want more of the, the hit. So I'm gonna adjust it down, adjust it down, just barely to where I can see a little bit of light through there, restrict the airflow a little bit. Now I'm gonna adjust my tip down. Okay, there's my tip. There we go. Not getting as much vapor, but I'm getting a deeper throat hit. I'm getting a, uh, a more of a flavor to it. And uh, I have to kind of read camp. I actually am liking this uh, cinnamon. I, I really am. I'm, uh, I'm bouncing back and forth all night. You know, while driving around, I've been bouncing back and forth between cinnamon and menthol, cinnamon and menthol. And uh, it actually, it's a, it, they kind of complement each other, I've noticed. And I'm not going to get into juice reviews. That's just, there's other guys out there. Pete Bizarro, 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 Pete, Pete Bizarro. He does absolutely everything you want to know. Definitely check him out or Grim Green. Uh, those two right there, they know, they give you charts, they show you exactly. I mean, they give you information on this is just ridiculous. So if you're, like I said, I'm doing this from a new perspective of somebody who doesn't know. But, um, yeah, I, actually, these two complement each other. I wish I there was a way I could get the cinnamon, you know, the hot spicy. It's, a, it's like a flavor, like a big red uh, gum. It's got that flavor to it. If I could get that in the menthol with the menthol flavor and everything, that would just be cool as heck. Because I've noticed, I take a couple drags of the menthol, then I throw a, you know, this in here, and it just kind of hits that, 
you know, your, your palate still. Nice. What I'm also doing is um, my ohms resistance. As time goes on, these keep getting higher. Well, this is 2.8. Well, 2.9. Okay. Uh, my other tank is uh, hitting a 3 now. It's changing on me. I don't know if that's just because uh, the juice inside or whatever, but it, it's changing on me. So, I've been running, let's say, you know, around, th this is 3, so I've been running my, uh, my, my, my thing up to about 5.5. That gives me the warm sensation, and, um, the, it, it, it just gives me that warmer sensation, and it gets it, things moving a little quicker. So, if you're got if you're like new to this whole thing like me and you have a Pravari or you know it, it you're not really going to be able to do too much if you have something that has a 510 connector that's up higher if it's up higher past the 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 little crown here you're you're not really going to be able to do anything about that you're not going to be able to adjust that as far as a, a draw uh, but with these flush mounts and the Pravari uh, you can adjust it a little to get it exactly where you want it. You know, and uh, like I said, now I'm going to see, I do it again. I'm going to switch back to my menthol. Right there. They just go good together. So that's just a little, you know, little thing I figured out that, you know, if you, like I said, there's something in there. It's bugging the hell out of me. I think it's time to, for me to clean my tank, but it's been a, been a week. So whatever. Um, but yeah, this is actually working out real great. And I just figured I'd give you guys an update. Maybe it would uh, help out somebody else who's not quite, you know, they're a little new to this. But you don't want to cut it off so much that you flood your tank because without any air draw, now you're just sucking, you know, juice from your tank into your cardamizer and then that's going to suck it into the, to the uh, air hole. Because, you know, it has, you got to, you get it. You get the vacuum thing. Uh, yeah, but like I said, this menthol and the cinnamon are actually complementing each other well. I think next time I go to the shop, I'm probably going to buy a uh, buy 18 milligrams of um, the cinnamon, and they'll be my go-tos right there. But um, this is another thing. Uh, this is lasting me. The tanks, I'm going through about a tank a night, a little more than a tank a night probably, because I vape a lot. And these Eagle Tac batteries are working quite well. They're giving me about two days out of... Uh, out of it, and I'm a heavy vapor, heavy vapor, and these uh, Eagle Tacks are doing the business, so, um, very cool, so, that's it, maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't, I don't know, but that's my little, uh, my little adjustment method for the, the tanks and the Prevary, so. Uh, Alright guys, I'll catch you later. Sorry, you gotta look at my face while I do this.